we just see the aftermath where John hits the wall. I've won more races, I've competed in more races than anyone else in Australian motorsport history. From almost the moment I was born, I was in the car world. My dad was a mechanic and prepared race cars for other people. He eventually got his own race car, so there was never a moment we didn't have a race car in our driveway or in our garage, so there was no other path I was going to take. I'm John Bow. I'm a race car driver, a car enthusiast, and just a good all-round bloke. <laughs> I've owned 37 Porsches alone, but I've owned Jaguars, BMWs, Mercedes. I've owned, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you how many cars I've owned over a long period of time. My favourite car is my Jaguar, which is, a, is an E-type roads to build in 1962. I purchased it 15 years ago, and I've never kept any car more than 15 months other than this one. So. That's pretty important to me. The first E-types appeared at the Geneva Motor Show in 1961, and they created a storm. There was this exotic car with an exotic specification that was reasonable money. I bought it from Alf Barbagello's, a Jaguar dealer in Western Australia, and he had it restored in his shop, in his workshop, in 1991. It's a 30-year-old restoration basically, so it's a, it's a really lovely car. Bill Hemming has kept the Elfin name alive, essentially. He runs this little factory called the Elfin Heritage Centre. The Elfin part of my life is very important because without Gary Cooper, who was Elfin, I wouldn't have raced outside Tasmania. He made race cars that were as good as anything in the world from a little factory in Adelaide. I honestly think Gary used to build cars just so he could race them himself, and it became a business. Gary took me under his wing. He was like a mentor to me. I eventually drove for the Elfin factory, so I was a works driver, as they called it. And I also had my first, what I call, big time drive in a, in a Formula 5000. Now, Formula 5000 was a big, brutal car. Five litre V8 in the back, big tyres, big power. Gary gave me my chance to race those. So he's a pretty special bloke. My dad, Brian Bow, used to race cars in Tassie, very much a part of my early racing life. I started racing when I was a kid, really. I was 15. I think my dad helped me start racing to keep me on the straight and narrow. There's one up there where I had this horrendous crash at Pukekohe, which I momentarily thought was about the end of my life, but it wasn't, so it was, a, it was very nasty. I won Bathurst with Dick Johnson, of course, in 1989. We'd come second the year before, and that was very memorable. What I do most of the time when I'm not racing, I like nothing better than to go, you know, hop in that Jaguar, go out into the country somewhere, the Yarra Valley or Mornington, just have a nice cruise in the countryside and, you know, have a, a lunch or, a, you know, a glass of wine is great. It's a 1962 Jaguar E-Type OTS. That's what the factory called them, open top sports, although people call them roadsters. 3.8 litre, six cylinder, twin cam engine with triple SU carburetors. It doesn't weigh much though, so it's quite quick. You know, you can get along at a good speed in it. You know, for its time, it was very sophisticated and it handles well. You wouldn't know it was nearly 60 years old when you drive it. paid to drive race cars for 35 years, so I am living a boy's dream. If I get to race next year, I've been racing 50 years, which is, to me, mind-blowing, you know. Most people don't keep racing that long, but I love it. I mean, it's my, it's my DNA, so if I can keep doing it until I'm 80 years old, I will.